Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Mass Effect. It is time to go back out into space. Also, I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode, but I did craft a couple of weapons and put some new mods in them, so we get to test those out hopefully this time. Because there wasn't, wasn't much combat in the last episode. Man, the writing in this game is not that great. Just put that out there. There hasn't really been many interesting things. Um, track. And like Kess, those two have had a couple cool lines. Vetra's had a couple of cool lines. Koro wanted to check in with you. Koro wants to talk to me. But like there's, so far there hasn't been much that's really grabbed my attention. Um, Cora, Cora, Cora. Cora is down here. Where is she at again? She's in one of these labs, right? With that vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here, I don't care how the vault's doing it. Magnificently. Crap. That's how. I prefer tech with more exposed vaults. If you can't open it, you don't own it. Also, our right is now gold. What the hell is that? Where was she at? She was in... A lab. It must be up here. Oh, right. Yeah, it is out here. Damn. It's over here by the strike mission area, which we should probably check. A secure outpost. Oh, Finally. Prodromus better be worth all that time Ryder put into it. If they fail, the Nexus starves. No pressure, right? So everything we do now relies on civilians planning. Okay, so yeah, these guys have actually leveled up because I've sent them on a couple missions. Very good, that was a success. That's a gold level mission. I don't know if they're ready for that. But that's the only one that we have. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we can send them on this one, right? Yeah, okay. And I'm guessing at some point we get more squads. But not yet. So we will ship them off. I could... Well, no, I can't do a gold mission. Never mind. I was gonna strike say maybe we can try a strike a mission, but I can't. I can't do a gold mission yet. I have been playing multiplayer a little bit, but none of my characters are gonna be high enough to do a gold level mission. All right, uh, Cora, she's over here. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. <clears throat> Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Cool. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water, or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here, and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. I mean, there may be roses. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow. You fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? <clears throat> it hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. 
When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? It's just the eyes, man. They're just dead. Even though they're moving, it's just this weird... He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. I am Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. Hmm. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Maybe. We'll see. <clears throat> Let's get the hell out of here. Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. Have to go explore in one someday? Yep, Imagine someday. flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. All right, so on to the next system. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now! Scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back. Yeah. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. What? Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report! Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? So is Sam steering the ship or is Kalo steering the ship? Because Sam's like, look, here's his course. And then Kalo just has to drive it? Like, why even have Kalo in there? <laughs> just have nice Sam drive work, the damn thing. Kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. <clears throat> you think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. So I guess the same we're question would contacted. be like... Hold on. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove, Jagalesto. Uh -oh. 
Cove, Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Pav, Naleseto. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. Good thing they understand English. <laughs> Convenient. Look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Like, I know that's supposed to be funny, but it just, it doesn't make me chuckle at all. Need me to take my shoes off? Hey, I'm Doug Oz. Nathan Roa. It just feels like the life isn't even in this game at all. Not even just the animation, it's just like everything. I'm Paran Shai, governor oh of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Where's the question that says, how the f do you know English? Uh, well, he asked, what do we want? So let's say you have- Our intentions are simple. <laughs> He'd like to look in your vault and then we're out of here. You think that's simple? <laughs> you don't know anything. John Snare. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance Headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. They gotta at least have, like, a throwaway line of dialogue that tells us how these fuckers know English. Follow right? closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Why do I know what you're doing? Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. Where's the line of dialogue that explains this? Did Sam somehow... Is Sam, like, How did it find us? translated their language already somehow, and then just in my head I'm hearing English, but they're really speaking their own language? Is this like a universal translator thing from Star Trek? None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. 
You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. But then how do they understand English, though? Because... What even... happens if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance Headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. Because, like, this may be a small thing to some people, but how the fuck, like... Why is this... They are bullies. Who wrote... But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Hi. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. It, like, in Mass Effect 3, when you got the, um, what, the, what they call it, Promethean, the ancient one, he at least made a line, like, saying, like, oh, yeah, your language is easy for me, because we... What, I forget what the... But they had an explanation like that. He was like, okay, I understand everything, because I'm super smart and whatever the fuck. Give me the same line of dialogue here. We've had our own run-ins with the cat. Then... You really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day with everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. Do you understand what a Pathfinder, like, I don't even understand what the fuck a Pathfinder is yet. It wasn't meant that way. I have an ark full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you the most I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault, but now the cat have her. And our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us. And you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarov. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. 
is this all happening kind of fast? I just landed on your planet. The governor said, oh, this dude's not going to like you. You'll have to earn his trust. And then, like, three lines of dialogue, he's like, yeah, whatever, dude. Take one of my best. Well, I'm assuming he's one of his best because he's a main character. Um, Jaw, this, this Jaw guy is, anyway. Maybe he's not one of the best. I don't I, Like, it's... What? That's our first contact? Yo, what up? Thanks for just randomly landing on our planet. Yeah, this is a Pathfinder. What's a Pathfinder? I don't fucking know. We speak English. How? I don't know. Here, take this dude with you. Congratulations. You filled out your fucking party with all these aliens. I, I kind of wish I was still sick so my mind could still be foggy and then it wouldn't ask these questions. Because now that my mind is clear, because, you know, sickness makes your mind fucked up. Like, now my Welcome aboard. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. <sighs> Welcome fucking aboard, dude. I hope I don't regret this. Me too. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. They shouldn't be allowed here. And now I'm just free to walk through your city? Hi. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We have credits, but little to spend them on. Think you might spend them here? Could be. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? This is how simple economy is, by the way. It's totally this simple. I don't know. Uh, what do you want? Your ship? Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvin. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Sure, dude. Sure. I guess I earned everyone's trust. I'm running around your city, unguarded. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Man, there could be secrets over here. I could be working for the cat. You don't even know. Translated from Slalesh. What? It's gotta be Sam, right? Like, that's our explanation? Sam somehow understands your language? By hearing them speak three lines of dialogue? I just can't get over this running animation, man. It's just so bad. Be careful. Uh, hello? Stars above, it's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah, this is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life, why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. You know Do what the I word adventure means? Name. Alien? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajawa, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? And you're referencing me as a Pathfinder? Why do you even know that's, like, my title? How does everybody know that, like, what... 
I have so many questions about how rushed this fucking feels. And it's pissing me off, and I don't know why. Like, it shouldn't, like, it's really not even that big of a deal. It's a sci-fi shit, whatever, just accept it. Everyone in Star Wars speaks English for some reason. Don't really question that that much. But it just feels off. Do you have an Oxford English Dictionary hanging around here somehow? Like, why the- I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with the new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. Sure, let's just cut to the I've gym. always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Like, next thing I know, one of these aliens are gonna say something like, Well, you know what that old English proverb, or the old English saying, to make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs, am I right, huh? I'm like, what? Like, something like that's gonna happen. It's just, like, Jaws gonna make some kind of reference to, like, Earth culture. It's just, it's just gonna happen, the way that this is going. What is that ancient Earth saying that you have? I don't know, Jaws. Why would you know Ships anything about that? fixed up and ready to fly. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, man. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what, what happened? Comes? I what? wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. So there are translators. Thank God someone said something. Okay, so there's some translator working behind the scenes. How the f did it identify the entire language? And, you know, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Let's just... Let's Come on. on, everyone. Can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. 
And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. Jal, give Kella the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. So, Varl or Voled? Voled sounded more action packed, because there's a battle going on. Not that I'm not down for, you know, finding scientists. Sounds like a jolly old time. Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. How could you tell? I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Try not to scare him away, huh? Where is Jarl? So, Jarl. All right. So. We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? <clears throat> I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us, so... there. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a... place to start? Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Cared to elaborate? I do not. Okay. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Base value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. Um, I'm assuming that's a symbol for friend? When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm, of course. Good. Good. Okay, now he's over into another part where we can talk to him again. Yes? Eh, never mind, it's fine. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. I 
Gaia has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like now, Suvi. Don't go chasing those waterfalls now. Anomaly on sensors. Well, let's go check it out. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. He really should let you skip this. combat is still fun. Like, at least this game's got that going for it. Yeah, resources, woot! Meet the resistance. Um, or helping the sign. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna... Oh, hold on. Um, let's also... Before we do that, let's go take out that side quest real quick. I'm sure it's just probably us going to find the ship, right? Uh, nope. Nope. Shit, where's that? Oh! Alright, never I, I don't know where the quest is, so we're just doing this this time. Just grab it from here. Uh... Like, what if we made a game where we force the players to really just take in all of this stuff that we made? Like, don't let them skip it, even though that makes sense. Force them to watch it all, man said the person who suggested this fucking travel from point to point. Even in system, dude, let's just let them watch the asteroids like melt away. Whoosh! We're traveling through the system. Sorry. A lot of things about this game annoy the fuck out of me. Now that I have a clear head while playing. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Good idea, buddy. <sighs> Hold on. I feel like we should check our email first. So let me go do that. One particular piece of Rintech to clean my job. My scan located what I need on Void. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect time. Okay. Let me also make sure that our load is, is fine. 
Okay, so we got that weapon, and then this one... Okay. Yeah, that's right. I haven't been able to test these yet, but the mods we have on them... Oh, wait, no, no, not the mods. We actually crafted the special items into them. I don't know how, how I checked that. Huh. But yeah, when I crafted them, I, I threw in some augmentations. But it doesn't really show that on that screen. That's kind of odd. Not really a holiday destination. Oh. Right. Alright, so should I swap one of these out for Jaw? I probably should. So far, I find Drac more interesting. So, we'll do this. Let's get incendiary ammo. Okay. Take her down, Kalo. Designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds to the Angari is ice. <laughs> and those oceans frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. This game had to be rushed out, right? There's no way anyone looked at this game and was like, yeah, that's shit. Okay. There's that's no way. Like, it had to be rushed blizzard. out. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking Gale Force squalls. Get out and push. Very funny, Ryder. Is it? Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. Oh, you mean like How this? How many snipers do you think I got trained on me? No sudden movements, right? Peter's straight on. Any squishies need to warm up? We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive. Okay. Hello? You don't know me. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Yeah, the commander's authorization to Life support is stable. Yes, she knows. We're headed to see her now. Cool ship. I love you, Hayward. Laura? 
knows how much time we have. Oh my god, so much conversation. Oh, yeah, you did. Good to see you again, Commander Dozeal. And you, Jal. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dozeal. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. It's a good first impression. Totally understood. Everyone wants the stars to keep shining, right? We're in agreement then. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them, and be careful yourself, my friend. <clears throat> I always am. All right, nice meeting you. Help us fight the cat, then we talk. Okay. Oh, I wonder uh, what this does. Oh man, maybe you shouldn't just let me pouring over your records and shit. Honestly, I actually don't really care about them. Hi. Apologies, Pathfinder. I'm a little busy at the moment. Joe, my friend. Welcome home, brother. Took the party to the supply drop point. When we got there, everything was gone. Our contact was missing. The snow showed up. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Odisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Is all this this dude? Hello? Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. Those data pads are encrypted. How did you... <sighs> I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments <laughs> have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. How did you break through our encryption so- Oh, that doesn't matter. Anyway, listen. How about we keep this on the down low, alien? So... Your people deserve to know what's happening. You should tell them. With all due respect, I'm the one keeping this camp together. I know what's best for them. I can't sanction an official search, but... I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Um. Okay. Okay. Also, like this quest UI is shitty. Menu users. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Alright, so 
so the lookouts are also this way. They guess... know I'm not gonna eat them, right? Let's try to make a good first impression. Mates, <laughs> good but to I be back. Snacks last time. I have friends here. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Ryder has a name. You named it? How do you even tell them apart? Stars, Beniska, just stop talking. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Those red lights? You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. How does anyone live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the Ket attack? We've adapted to that, too. The Ket want to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. Okay. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. Okay. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Volt. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. That means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. <clears throat> that was a cool briefing. My question is, why are there so many, like, civilian outposts and towns near the Ket Central Command of the planet? How does that even happen? Follow the lights, Ryder. Trust me. Town Hill's always more fun. Oops. 
the worst of it. Temperature should be manageable now. Ted, coming this way! Quickly, Hi. before they find the resistance! Okay, so... Not what I thought that was gonna be. Whoa. Wait, what the fuck? The sniper rifle with a laser beam augmentation sounds like a machine gun. What? Alright, so I guess this isn't really a sniper rifle anymore. Oh, you know what? I, I totally forgot to level up Jaw, didn't I? Whoops. Yeah, man, here, let's get you a grenade. So weird. Huh. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I should launch the pro. I don't see it though. I guess that's supposed to be it. Where the heck am I even going? Um, map. Okay. Reach the drop points. All right, yeah, let's just do that then. That's where we came from. I don't remember what I put in this sniper rifle. But whatever I put in there does not work with sniper rifle. Does some damage though. Oh, I have not been scanning this entire episode. Oh my god. Shit. Axul, should I know about him? 
That's a conversation for another time. Pathfinder, I have informed Onisk. The drop point is secure. Good. The Resistance should get their supplies now. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I'm trying to launch probes. It says no materials detected even though... There we go. Ah! Keep pressing that button instead of G. Okay, so that is now done. That's J. Journal. Oh. No, we're not quite there yet. What's the other quest that we have? I guess we don't have one. We just have to go to these different places, I guess. I didn't know you can mark objectives on that map. Geronimo! Oh shit! Uh, hi! God, the sniper rifle's really bad. So is there anything down here? Angoran te Technology is present in this camp. I can provide more information via your scanner. This bug should be feeding Ket information to the resistance, but the connection was dropped. Why? A technical issue? Unknown. If you scan additional bugs, I can locate the broken link. Well, okay then. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. So thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.